Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to the Two Women and a Truck Ministries. Yay! Today we have what we think is a really, really relevant and hot topic. Um, and it talks about giving all of any kind of bad news to God. Give it all to Him. But before we begin, this is Evangelist Sheila. Hello, everyone. And I am Minister Michelle. And we are here in hopes that we can encourage someone on today. Sis, would you like to open us up with prayer? Yes. Okay. Praise the Lord, everyone. At this time, we ask that you get in a position to go into prayer and keep our focus on God right now, no matter what's around you, if you're in your kitchen, you're in your car, you're on your cell phone at this time. Dear Father God, we want to thank you for this day, dear God. We want to thank you once again for your grace and mercy. Mm. And dear God, we invite you into this platform today, dear God, that you would have your way. We ask you, Holy Spirit, you to move in a great way, dear God, that you dig. De de decrease us mm -hmm. and increase you yes. dear God that someone may hear a word of hope today something that they would touch their spirit and their mind and their soul and they say what must I do to be saved mm. dear God and we just thank you for this opportunity dear God because, because of you and yes. not ourselves mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus amen amen and so to begin I'm going to first talk a little bit about what do I mean by the bad news okay so, studies have linked the consumption of bad news to increase distress, anxiety, and depression, even when the news in question is relatively mundane. So, what does that mean? Well, first, let's talk about how bad news affects the brain. Okay? Studies say and have shown that watching negative news can increase anxious and sad moods and increase worry in areas unrelated to the negative content that we're consuming. Again, what does that have to do with bad news? Well, everything. Because when we consume a lot of, for example, the news on TV, what does it do to our bodies? Well, it says that it increases anxiousness, sadness, your moods increase, and you, you, you begin to, to get a lot of negativity into your own life, which affects your what? Your brain. So, how does bad news also affect our lives? Sis, can you read that part? It can increase our risk of develop, developing post-traumatic stress, anxiety, and depression. Mm. Now, there's emerging evidence that the emotional fallout of news coverage can even affect our physical health, increasing our chances of having a heart attack, developing health problems years later. Um, I wanted to add, Minister Michelle, to that bad news. It depends on what the bad news is and mm -hmm. how devastating it is, mm -hmm. how it can affect us instantly. Even later on, down years down the line, anxiety, you know, even as my personal life where I was, you know, I have gotten bad news. Mm -hmm. And it's what we do in the bad news, no matter how devastating it is. Yes. And it says bad news can come in many forms. Yes. It's how we deal with it, exactly what I said, how we deal with it mm -hmm. determines how we get through it. Yes. If he brings you to it, he'll bring you through it. Yes. And it says the different forms of bad news be, can be rejection. Mm -hmm. Is the sense of being unwanted and unable to receive love from others. Mm -hmm. Or when someone tells you that they no longer need your services. Now that is so true. Rejection is bad news to people that can't accept what the truth is. And that they're no longer needed or things are not working out. Mm -hmm. And that they don't receive the love that they want from others. Mm -hmm. And also denial could be bad news. Mm -hmm. You know, denial of someone, a situation. Or let's say, for example, something that you've been waiting on, you know, like it says, it may be delayed, but never denied. Mm -hmm. And death is a very, very big form of um, 
bad news. Yes. And I know that myself personally and anyone that is on the line, you know, death in the family of any relative. Yes. Your mother, your father, you know, your child, your sister or brother. Yes. You know, it's what you, even though the bad news is so devastating, which could cause an instant heart attack. You know, and doing the bad news, you ask God to give you some strength to it, no matter how devastating it is. And how I can say that for my own personal experience or anyone on the line that has lost a child, you know, that could understand what I'm talking about. Even in the bad news, which is so devastating, mm -hmm. you know, you, you first of all, I was in a state of denial and I didn't want to believe it, but it was so. It's what you're doing in the bad news, how you accept it. And, you know, at the time, you know, you say, we take all things to God in prayer. And I know yes. at that time of the devastating news of the bad news, you have to register and that you can't just go on your own in conscience and stay in a certain place of depression mm -hmm. and anxiety aware and take you out. Yes. So with that being said, even um, I heard a story this week. There was a lady on the news and she was talking about how her husband had to be rushed to the hospital. And while they were there, waiting to hear whether or not he had been um, resuscitated, they came to tell her that he had actually died. Okay? Mm -hmm. So when she got that bad news, at first she was like, wow, really? You know, you're going to take my husband from me now? You know, I mean, she was devastated. And she realized that her five-year-old son was out there waiting to hear the news about his dad. So she said she had to get herself together and she had to think of how she could explain this kind of bad news to him. So she goes and she talks to him about it. She tells him that her dad is no longer with them, that he's gone to heaven. Now, um, the little boy did not, you know, from, from what she was saying, it was hard for him to at first understand because I, I know that most children, you know, they're thinking, you know, my, my dad or my mom or whomever gone to heaven? Really? You know, and so people tell their kids that. And so um, then she said right after that, like uh, while they were sitting in there and she was holding him and talking with him, she said the doctors came back out there. And said to her, um, your husband's, his feet, and he started moving. And she said, what? And so now she is in what we talked about earlier in the waiting. Mm -hmm. Because they found out that he had actually slipped into a coma. So just imagine getting that kind of bad news in the beginning. That your loved one was dead, gone. You know, went out there and told the whole church that was there praying with you. You know, told your son. And then, after all of that, later on, they came back and they had to tell you that, well, he's not really dead. He's in a coma. So, I can't, I can't even imagine, you know. I know what it's like to get bad news of a, of a death in the family because oh, when my grandmother died and my brother and my uncle, you know, all those were just like, you know, and I thought it was going to overtake me, especially when my, my brother died. And then like three months later, my uncle died. And I was like, Whew. it just took me a moment. You know, all this bad news was like happening one after the other. And so we're going to move on to the next one, which says negative evaluations. And what does that one say? A negative performance evaluation almost always means the employee won't get public <clears throat> recognition for his job performance. Mm -hmm. This means he might feel excluded and D D N franchise franchise eventually. This exclusion based on the employee's own poor performance can mm -hmm. lead to a de demoralized approach to work. So, and when I saw that, it reminded me of a friend of mine that got a bad evaluation. Mm -hmm. And he, he and his wife both worked together at the same company. And so when it came time for his evaluation to be done, he said <clears throat> he didn't understand how they could do that to him. After he had done work so many years, and then all of a sudden he gets this bad evaluation, and he's told that his service is no longer needed. And he said that was devastating because they moved his wife 
to that position. Mm -hmm. You know, and he felt like, well, I helped her get up there. But then y'all going to knock me out the picture, tell me. I mean, it hurt him terribly. And to this day, he's still dealing with it. And he said that was like um, almost 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. And he still has yet to get over it. So I can't, I can't, I can just, you know, getting a bad evaluation. And, and even some people, they say, have even gone to great lengths as to want to beat up the boss or, you know, start a fight on the job because they got a bad evaluation. And, you know, some people just can't handle that kind of bad news. So looking in the book, our devotion book that we had, it talks about bad news. This, what is it, What is that one? In a devotional book, it talks about bad news. It said, they will have no fear of bad news. Their hearts are steadfast, trusting in the Lord. In this age of technology, we can be inundated with happenings from around the world. News is always at our fingertips, and often it's not good. Sometimes we are waiting for the personal, waiting for the personal life changing kind of news, the medical report, the upshot of job interview, mm. the test score. And our fear is that the result will not be what we hope. Mm. Psalms 112 tells us that we do not have to, to fear bad news. If our hearts are righteous, we are steadfast and secure in the Lord. In spite of any alarming information coming our way, we can be at peace because we are safe in God's hands. Mm. Mm. What fears tend to take over your mind? <coughs> can you give them to God today? If you have any fears, anyone that's on <laughs> online that is in, can you give those fears to God today? And with that being said, there was a scripture that came, another scripture that came up. Because you just read Psalms 112, mm -hmm. 7 through 8. Wait, 7. You read mm -hmm. verse 7. But 8 also says their hearts are what? Secure. Mm -hmm. They will have no what? No fear. Yeah. Right? Yeah. A bad they will have no fear. A bad news. Mm -hmm. Because in the end, they will look in triumph on their what? Their foes. Oh. Their foes. So we do have a, a way of securing ourselves with the Lord. Yeah. Even when we're going through. Yes. The bad news can overtake us if we don't realize and trust in the in the, Lord. In the scripture, right? Yeah, where the God the gives word. us. Mm -hmm. Yes. He gives us a scripture to help us fight back. Yes. Bad news. When you're when you when you're getting that bad news, you got to learn to go back to scripture. Go back to the word. Pick up that Psalms 112, 7 through 8. Read it out loud. Say that will happen. <laughs> I will have no fear of bad news. Mm -hmm. You got to tell it to yourself. I will have no fear of bad news. My heart is what? Steadfast and trusting in the Lord. Sometimes you got to preach that to yourself. Mm -hmm. And know that your heart is secure. Yes, you have to be able to encourage yourself too, even as others encourage you. And I, I'm looking at Romans 8. Mm-hmm. And it's speaking to my spirit. Yes. No, in all these things, we are more than conquerors. Yes, conquerors. yes. Through him who loved us. Mm -hmm. Through God who loves us. We're more than conquerors. Yes. We're more than, we're overcomers. Overcomers. And you know, when you're going through this bad news and rejection and denial of things, and these scriptures will give you the word and it will give you comfort because there's comfort in the word. Yes. Because God said, but and I love it. And I even love Romans 38 and 39. Yes. For I am convinced yes. that neither life nor death, yes. angels nor demons, mm -hmm. neither the present nor the future, Come nor any now. powers, any. neither height nor death, mm -hmm. nor anything else in all creation yes. will a be able to separate us from, from the love of God from the that love is in God. Jesus. Nothing. Nothing. Should be able to separate Nothing. you from the love of Christ. Nothing. No bad news. Nothing. 
no bad report. None. Because whose report are you going to believe? The report of the Lord. Yes. I don't care what it looks like. You speak life. Yes. Into the situation. Speak it. Even mm -hmm. when the walls and the whole of the Lord is falling down. Yes. Tears are coming down your eyes. Yes. Because I have a testimony. Yes. Where I can trust in the God. Yes. And nothing will separate me or us. Yes. From God. We can always ask for forgiveness. That will mm -hmm. separate. We throw it in the, the sea of forgiveness. And yes, it, Lord. Ask, God will forgive you, but you forgive yourself as yes, well. Yes, yes. Do know Absolutely. that put your trust in what He never fails. Man will fail you. Mm -hmm. People will fail you. Mm -hmm. Family will fail you. Yes. Friend, but God, He never fails. Mm -hmm. His hand never changes. He never changes. Mm -hmm. Don't get me started. All right. <laughs> Just hold you on to his word and truth. his promises. Yes. Because this is a promise. It is. And his promises are yes and amen. Yes. So amen. remember that in all the bad news that you get, give it to who? To God. Give him control of it all. Yes. He is a merciful and loving and forgiving God. Yes. And that's why he says to cast all your cares and worries unto yeah. him. Bring it to and let it there. him uh -huh. take care of it. Yes, and he will. And with that being said, he we will are, if you let him. Yes. You gotta let him. You have he to. He has let. all power. That's right. He in does. He does. And with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and close. I'm gonna close with prayer. And if and remember if there's anybody out there that's in need of prayer. If you are in need of prayer, please let us know. Please let us know. Remember, um, we are with uh, the House of Power, mm -hmm. which is on Facebook as well, YouTube. And we are more than glad to pray for you. You know, you have the option to type in, please lift me up in prayer as you are watching us. So if you're one of those people that are in need of prayer, we will be more than happy to pray for you. And anything, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. No, go you. ahead. We Before we all, end. We ask you all to subscribe and like on this channel. If you need prayers, Minister Michelle said, you can put it in the comments below. We just thank God for the listening ear, the, the person that's out there that needs a word. Yes. I, I really feel that someone out there needed a word today to mm. know that. And it's the word of God, not our words. We're just vessel. He speaks through us as yes. we speak to, to the people, his people, the, even the body of Christ. You know, all of us, the, the saved and unsaved. Mm. You know, so we just thank God for the opportunity for two women in a Trump ministries to yes. be able to do the work for the kingdom. Amen. Let us bow our heads. Father God, we thank you once again for this most beautiful day on September 3rd, Lord, where all your people have gathered together at some point, some place. Lord God, those that you have woke up this morning and yes, you've given God. them another chance. You've given us all another chance, Lord, to come together, to ask you for forgiveness of our sins and our shortcomings. To ask you, Lord, to continue to lead and guide us Lord, so many of us are lost. So many of us are still trying to find our way. Yes. So many of us are still downcast with lots of bad news. Yes. But oh God, oh God, we know that we serve a risen Savior who lives today. And how do we know that he lives? He lives within our hearts. Yes. And he says that I will never leave you nor forsake you. Yes, God. All you have to do is call on me yes. and I will answer. All you have to do is just call and I will answer. Lift up your voice unto the Lord and give him all of your cares. Because he wants to be able to take care of them. He loves us with a love. Like no other. Yes. God. A love that's unconditional. Yes. We realize that man has conditions on love. Yes. We place conditions on everything, God. And we ask you for forgiveness even on those things that we put conditions on, Lord God. That you are asking us not to. Yes. You ask us to have love for one another yes. unconditionally. Yes. And because we are human, because we were born and shaped in sin and iniquity, yes. we can't help sometimes but 
to do the things that we do, God. We want to do good, yes. but evil is ever present. Yes, God. Evil is ever present, Lord God. Yes, and God. we struggle and we fight on a daily basis to do the will of the Lord. Yes. Oh, Jesus. I don't know who needs this prayer out there, but I know I need it. Yes, God. I know I need it right now. That's why I'm casting my cares unto you even yes, now, God. Yes, yes. Because the devil is ever present. He is there to try to strip us of the joy that you have given us, Lord. Yes. He is there to try and kill, steal, and destroy. Yes, yes. But oh, I serve a risen Savior. I can't help yes. but to say that again. I serve a risen yes, Savior do. Yes, we do. who lives yes, we do. within my heart. Yes. Who lives and he's with us everywhere that we go. Yes, God. And for that, God, I just give you the glory. For you are the King of kings. You yes. are the Lord of lords. Yes, you are. And I thank you for forgiveness of our sins and shortcomings. Yes, I thank you, Lord, for allowing us to come before you humbly yes, as we know how. Yes, and remember God. everyone that is out there. On YouTube, Facebook, wherever. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Lord God, give them what they need. Yes, God. Somebody out there needed this encouraging word on today. We continue to press forward, Lord, no matter what we feel, no matter what things look like. But we continue to press toward the mark, the prize of the high calling in Jesus Christ. Yes. And with that being said, we thank you so much for everything. In your yes, name. God. Lord God, I pray. Yes. We pray we together, pray. Lord God. Yes. As a family in this household. Yes, God. Amen. Amen, amen. and amen. Praise we the, the Lord. Glory and we give him the praise. Yes. He woke us up this morning. Yes. And he started us on our way. Yes, he did. So we just want to say thank you. <laughs> Until we meet again, we're out of each other's sight. But yes. we're never out of the sight of the Lord. Yes. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.